Okay, so this is we know this this is cosec series. So cosec series is obtained by metronic term to question number fifth we have done. Now sixth one. Let me find out what is sixth question. <coughs> now question number sixth is by equal to sine inverse x. This is question number sixth. Question number sixth. Okay. Y equal to sine inverse x is the first equation. Okay, equation number one. Now let me differentiate it successfully. So successively differentiation. Uh, successive differentiation. On successive differentiation, we obtain y1 is equal to 1 upon under root 1 minus x square. Alright. So this by 0 at x equal to 0. At x equal to 0, by 0 is here 0 because sine 0 is 0 for 0 the bit. This is 0. Okay, sine 0 is 0. So that is 0. And what is y1? by 1 0 from this one is 1 upon 1 because here x square is 0 but have to uh, square root 1 is 1 for 1 now if I cross multiply this we will get under root 1 minus x square into by 1 equal to 1 then second one will be here if I square it will be by 1 square equal to 1 square okay so if I get from this, will be by 1 square is 1 square. Alright. This is by 1 is 1 is either right to 1 square because by 1 square is 1. Only by 1 is 1. No problem at all. That is 1 only. Okay. That is 2 square, 1 square. No problem at all. This is 1. A one is square okay let me take next one or by one can be written as one is square one is square so if i differentiate it again now differentiating this function this is one minus x square into twice by one into by two this is minus twice x from this one into by one is square that will be equal to zero because one is square differentiated as one for zero which is 1, maybe 1 or 1 is square, no problem. Now, if I divide it by twice by 1, so dividing it by twice by 1, or 1 minus x square into by 2 minus x into by 1 equal to 0. Okay, so this is x into minus x into by 1, no problem at all. Then, what is the next term? So, y2 0 if i find out it is 0 so by 2 0 is 0 because x into by 1 it will be 0 even if by 1 is 1 is square or 1 that means 0 because x is multiplied this is by 2 0 again differentiating this so we get 1 minus x square into by 3 minus twice x into by 2 differentiate this this will be minus x into by 2 minus x is 1 minus by 1 only equal to 0. Now if I write it again, which is 1 minus x square into by 3 minus 3x three into by 2 minus by 1 equal to 0. Okay? Because minus x by 2 minus twice x by 2 that means minus 3x by 2. Now by 3, 0 if I find out at x equal to 0 this is 1 into and this is 0 so equal to minus by 1 equal to plus by 1 equal to by 1 0 that means 1 1 only or 1 is scale we can write that 1 is scale no problem by 1 is 1 or by 3 is 1 now let me find out next term or this is it's only 1 ok 1 1 are there Next term, again differentiating is fourth point. If I differentiate it again, 1 minus x square into by 4 
minus twice x into by 3. This is two difference by product method. This is minus 3 into by 3 x. Okay, x differentiated by x. Then minus 3 into x into by 3. Minus by 2. Differentiated by 1 is 0. So by 4 then 0 will be what? So this is twice x by 3. 3x by 3 minus 5. Let me write it again. This is 1 minus x squared into by 4 minus 5 x by 3 minus 3 by 3. Okay. And this is minus by 2. Equal to 0. Now let me write the different values. By 4 0 is equal to this x into x into by 3. This is 0 because x is multiplied. 3 into by 3 by 3 is 1. So this is minus 3. And by 2 is 0. Minus 3. Take to that side. Only plus 3. So it is plus 3. By 4 is plus 3. So 3 into by 1. By 1 is 3. So only up to this term. Let me now write the values of this. Sign inverse. Sorry. This is question number 6. Let me sign inverse 6. So the different values obtained here are Okay, so that will be okay by 2 is okay we have obtained this so these are the values now let me check whether there is any mistake by 3 is we know by 3 is 1 so this is 1 into 3 minus 1 into 3 okay no problem it's plus 3 so only up to by 4 now let me write the series this therefore series of this by using by McLaurin theorem Hence, by Maclaurin's theorem, what we obtain here, by Maclaurin's theorem, we get sine inverse x is equal to first zero, first term, second is x, okay, second term, this by two is zero, then the x cube for one upon and x cube upon factorial three, only, then by 4 is also there by 4 is 3 so plus 3 into this is by 4 means x4 upon factorial 4 and so on 3 if i okay divide it it will be 8 in the denominator and and so on or it may be plus or minus depend upon so this is x minus x q upon factorial 3 okay and plus 3 into factorial 4 4 into 3 into 2 that means 8 only so it will be x x4 upon 8 and so on so this is the series obtained by McLaurin's theorem okay. so it's under root 1 minus x square was and by the scale that was the series okay <coughs> now let me take a seventh question so the seventh question we obtain seventh question is Okay, let me do the seventh question. Expand it log of e1 plus sine square x. Okay, so expand this question. This seventh question here. So this is first equation. Differentiate let this is y equal to. So differentiating it successfully. Differentiating it successfully. Again, b get or b obtain. We get by 1 is equal to, here it is 1 upon 1 plus sine square x. I'm sorry. Into differentiation of 1 plus sine square x. Again, 1 is 0, sine square x will be twice sine x into cos x. That means sine 2x upon 1 plus sine square x. Now if I take 1 plus sine square x to this side, it will be 1 plus sine square x into by 1 equal to sine 2x okay so this is second equation so what we get at x equal to 0 by 0 is equal to this is log 1 0 and y1 here 0 because this 1 into y1 so y1 at 
let, let me write here by one zero will be zero because sine zero is zero. So this is means first two terms are zero. Now next differentiating it again. This will be one plus sine square x into by two plus it will be two sine x into cos x differentiation by two. This will be sine two x into by two. Sorry, by one. I'm sorry, this by one as it is. And if it's now 12 plus sine square x is sine 2 sine x into cos x sine 2 x by 1 equal to this is 2 into cos 2 x. Differential of sine 2 x is cos 2 x. 2 x is again differentiated by a function of function method. It will be 2. Twice x is 2. Okay. So this is the value. Now let me find out what is by 2 0 then. So by 2 0. Let me write here. So by 2 0, this is 1 into by 2 0, this is 0. So 1 into by 2 0 equal to this 0 because x included sine 2x, sine 2x included 0. This is twice into cos 2x, 2 equal to 2 only. So by 2 is 2. Okay. Then again differentiating this, this will be 1 plus sine square x into by 3. Plus this is again differentiated, 1 plus sine square x, that means two sine 2x, two so sine 2x into by 2. Plus if I differentiate it by product method, it will be sine 2x, that is, is by 2. So the same term will be obtained sine 2x into by 2. Plus sine 2x is differentiated to be 2 into cos 2x into by 1 as it is. Equal to, this is minus 2 sine 2x into 2 that means 4 the minus 4 okay so what we get here this is 1 plus sine square x into by 3 plus this is twice same same term it is sine 2 x 1 is obtained from this so this is sine 2 x means twice sine 2 x into by 2 plus 2 into cos 2x into by 1 equal to minus 4 into sin 2x. Now at by 3, 0, at x equal 0 will be what? Here it is by 3, 0, 1 into by 3. This is 0 because sin 2x in, in Google. This will be there. This is minus 2 into by 1 is 0. It is 0. This is also 0. So by 3, 0. Okay, so similarly we can again differentiate by 4 can be obtained, by 5 can be obtained, successfully we can obtain. In the right hand side we have only one term, but it will be expanded by product rule, product rule. Okay, so let me write now, only for these two terms, because two values are obtained, by 2 is 2, and here, first two terms are 0, by 1, by 0, 0, by 3, 0, so only, let me find out one more, because it is maybe only one term is obtained. So again differentiating it, where this is 1 plus sine square x into by 4, okay, plus differentiated again, this is sine 2x into by 3, that is sine 2x into by 3, because sine square x is 2 sine x into cos x, that means sine 2x, you know 2 sine x into cos x equal to sine 2x, okay, so this is, now differentiating it by product rule, it will be 2 sine 2x, into by 3 plus sine 2x again differentiated it will be 2 cos 2x that means 4 into cos 2x into by 2 okay plus now this is to be differentiated by product 2 this second term it will be minus first let me differentiate cos 2x it will be minus 4 into sine 2x into by 1 as it is again it is to be differentiated that will be by 2 into 2 cos 2x plus 2 cos 2x into by 2 equal to minus 4 into 2 again minus 8 into cos 2x okay sin 2x is 2 into cos 2x that means minus 8 into cos 2x now finding out similar terms here it is uh, 2 cos 2x into by 2 2 cos 2 this is by 2 sin 2x into by 3 let me summarize them this is 1 plus sin square x into by 4 
But sin 2x into by 3, 2 sin 2x into by 3, that means 3 into sin 2x into by 3. These two terms are similar terms. So these two terms are similar terms. So no, this one by 2 into this, these are 2 plus 4, 6. Plus 6 into cos 2x into by 2. Okay. Cos 2x into by 2. And next is minus 4 sin 2x into by 1 equal to minus 8 into cos 2x. Okay, now what is by 4 at 0? Now by 4 at 0, this last one, this is by 4. Now this is included sin 2x, so this is 0. Now this cos 2x into by 2, by 2 is 2, this is 12. Because cos 2, cos 0 is 1, by 2 is 2, so 2 into 6 is 12. Okay, this is 0. And in the, okay, um, okay, in the right hand side, we will have minus 8. So minus 8 and this minus 12, that's minus 20. Sorry, minus 20. Y4 is minus 20. Okay. So these are the, okay, up to this term only, because then it will end here. So let me. Now somebody this or write it with the help of Macron's theorem. So using Macron's theorem now, the result will be therefore using or by Macron's theorem, using Macron's theorem, Macron's theorem, we get the series as log of e 1 plus sin square x is equal to first two terms are 0 so first constant 0 this 1 this by 1 is 0 only from by 2 so this is twice into x square upon factorial 2 that means 2 to cancel out okay by 3 is 0 then minus 20 upon factorial 4 this is x4 plus 24. So what we get here? x square minus in the denominator we have 24. Because 4 into 3 into 2. 4 4 cancel out so 5 upon 6 only. 5 cancel out by 4. 4 5 is 20 and 4 6 is 24. So this is x4 plus and so on. So x, x square minus 5 upon 6 x4. These two terms and so on. So this way we have obtained the seventh question. Okay, the series of this. So log of 1 plus sine square x is equal to this with the help of Macron's theorem. Okay, so Macron's theorem is clarified with the help of these examples. Next, let me, or with the help of these questions, okay, the examples which I have selected here, okay, which I have explained up to now, seventh question is done. Now, what is the eighth question the result is given? Let me find out the result. Now, question number eight says that so that e raised power x so let me take y is equal to e raised power x into cos of x okay which is equal to you have to prove that this is equal to 1 plus x minus twice x cube 1 factorial 3 so this is factorial 3 minus 2 square into x4 upon factorial 4 okay minus 2 square into x5 upon factorial 5 and so on plus 2 cube into x7 upon factorial 7 and so on okay three dots in final series okay now let me solve it so what we get here successive differentiation on successive differentiation on successive differentiation on successive differentiation we get what do we get here y1 is equal to this is by product rule so we ex into minus sin x ex as it is difference into cos x is minus sin x plus ex differentiation is ex into cos x as it is so what do what do we get here this is minus e raised power x into sin x plus this is y this is y only okay now let me at x equal to 0 what we get 
at x equal to 0 by e 0, this is cos 0 is 1, e raised power 0 is 1, so this is 1, by 0 is 1. What is it by 1? 0. By 1, 0 at x equal to 0. From this one, this is 0 because sin 0 is in, included. Y0 is 1, so this is equal to 1 positive. Okay, this is plus 1, y1 is plus 1. Because y0 is 1, we have obtained. Now let me again differentiate. This is y2 it is equal to left hand side y1 difference in the y2 equal to this is by product rule minus e raised power x as it is minus difference in this cos x. Okay, now minus e x is same minus e x into sin x as it is. E x difference in e x. So this is again minus by this is plus by one. This value is by one by differentiated. So now let me write it as this is minus y only because e raised power x cos x is y. This is minus e raised power x sin x plus by one. So what do we get by two zero? By two at x equal to zero. Okay, it is y2. <coughs> y2 at x equal to 0. Now y0 is 1. This is y0, 1. Minus 1. This is 0 because sin x is in, involved. Sin x is, uh, x is 0. Sin 0 is 0. This is 0. y1 is also 1. This is plus 1. This is minus 1. So 0. y2 is 0. Okay, so y2 term is not there. No problem. It is there. Now y3, let me differentiate further y3 is equal to this is y2 y3 therefore is equal to minus y1 this is again differentiated by product 2 this is minus e raised power x into sin x is cos x okay minus e x differentiated as e x and sin x as it is plus this is y2 okay now let me this is again y this is minus y1 minus y ex cos x is minus y minus e raised power x into sin x okay this is plus y2 now let me find out y3 0 y3 at x equal to 0 is equal to minus y1 y1 is minus 1 minus 1 y0 is also 1 this is minus 1 y0 is 1 okay then e raised to this is 0 because sin x is involved. This is 0 minus 0 plus y2 is 0 plus 0 to minus 2. So y3 is minus 2. This is minus 2 upon factorial 3. Okay. This is obtained. Now let me find out further differentiation. This is y3 0. We are obtained. Now y4 is equal to differentiating it again. So y3 is minus y2. Y1 by one is differentiated and this is minus by one. Again, this is by product two. This is E x into cos x. Sin x differentiated as cos x. Minus E x into sin x as it is. This is a repeated question. Plus by three. Now all are different terms. This is by again. It is nothing but minus by two, minus by one, minus by E x cos x is y. Okay, so this is minus e x into sin x plus y3. So let me find out what is y4. Sorry, y4. Y4 is there. Y4 is there. Okay. That means, let me find out y4. So what is y4 here? Minus y2. Minus y2 is 0. So this is 0. Let me write it here. 0 minus 0 plus 0 minus y1 is 1 this is minus 1 y is also 1 so this is minus 1 this is 0 plus y3 is minus 2 okay so this is minus 2 and minus 2 means minus 4 this is minus 4 it can be written as minus 2 square minus 2 square no problem so 2 square is there minus 2 square. Similarly, we can obtain other terms. Okay. Other terms are okay. I'm leaving because this can be further sim similar in the fashion. Similar fashion we can differentiate it. 
this term will be repeated this will be by 1 this will be by 2 this will be by 3 this will be by 4 again putting the same value again y will come okay so in this way we can obtain the other two terms also no problem other term will be obtained minus 4 and in uh, by 5 okay by 5 at 0 and by 7 at 0 will be obtained as 8 that is so those are the questions so that can be obtained let me write here 5 5 can be obtained as minus 4 again that means minus 2 square and y 7 by 6 will be 0 okay so by 6 will be obtained as 0 but by 7 as I'm not finding out because that that is plus 8 that means 2 q 2 q plus plus 8 2 q so now let me extra this with the help of McLaurin's theorem so McLaurin's theorem is therefore so McLaurin's theorem is obtained therefore using McLaurin's theorem using McLaurin's theorem or by McLaurin's theorem be obtained what be obtained that e raised power x into cos x is equal to 1 this pi 0 is 1 1 plus pi 1 is also 1 so this is x okay then by 2 0 minus 2 minus 2 into x q upon factorial 3 then by 4 is okay is minus 4 that means minus 2 square into x4 upon factorial 4 by 5 is minus 2 okay minus 2 square again this is by 5 by 4 is there minus by 5 that means minus 2 square upon factorial 5 into x5 okay by 6 is 0 by 7 is 8 that will be 2 cube into x7 upon factorial 7 okay so in this way we can obtain other terms I mean all the terms are obtained I mean these last two are obtained uh, okay just by um, result given there that will be there no, no doubt about this that can be obtained so not wasting time because time is limited here let me find out the other two remaining questions okay so this is the series we have obtained 1 plus x minus 2 into x cube upon factorial 3 minus 2 square x 4 upon factorial 4 because it was minus 4 and by 5 by also minus 4 that was minus 2 square upon this this these two terms are not obtained that can be done okay so this is the eighth question we have done so question number eight is obtained okay so with the help of McLaurin's series McLaurin's theorem now McLaurin's theorem is used to solve these series which are in final series okay so now let me take the ninth question ninth and tenth then ninth question says that prove that log of apply McLaurin's theorem and to prove that log of e into second x is equal to 1.2 x square plus 1.12 x4 okay 1.45 x6 plus and so on okay now let me find out this let y equal to this log of e second x okay so this is equal to now differentiating successfully so differentiating it successively be obtained okay be obtained or we get differentiating successively we get by one is equal to here by one log of second x that means one upon second x second x is further differentiated that means second x into 10x by function of a function method second x second x cancel out it is loop 10x okay so by 1 is 10x and y is this now second 0 now at x equal to 0 let me find out at x equal to 0 y 0 is equal to sec 0 is 1 log 1 is 0 so by 0 is 0. What is by 1 here? Ten 0 is also 0. So by 1 at x equal to 0 is also 0. Okay, these two terms are not there. Okay, first two terms are not there. Now let me find out what is by 2. 
now y2 will be again differentiating this y1 is y2 10x will be differentiated as second square x therefore y2 0 is equal to how much it is 1 positive 1 okay so that is there then y3 if i differentiate it is 2 second x into second x into 10x that means second square x into 10x second square x differentiated as 2 second x but second x is not x so again differentiating it that will be second x into 10x second square x into 10x now this is 0 because 10x tan 0 is 0 so y3 0 is 0 y3 is not there now y4 let me find out y4 differentiating it further by product rule it will be 4 into second x into second x further differentiate that will be second x into 10x that will be second x into 10 square x now if i differentiate this it will be plus 2 into 10x is differentiated second square x as it is second 10x is second square x so it will be second 4x second 4 power x okay therefore by 4 0 will be what this is 0 because 10x is in what then 0 is 0 this is 0 this is only there yeah. so this is plus 2 this is 2 upon factorial 4 factorial 4 okay this is 12 no problem factorial 4 means 4 into 3 into 2 2 2 cancel out so 12 1 okay that is obtained now by 5 let me differentiate it further this is by product rule this is 4 into 8 second square is differentiated again that will be twice into second x into 10x okay so second square x into 10x again it will be second square x into 10 cube x why because one 10x will again come because second x is differentiated because first will be 4 into 2 that means 8 into second x but second x is differentiated again second x into 10x so that means second square x one 10x will also come now plus this 10x is differentiated this is 4 into 2 that means 8 into second 10 square x 10x will be there but second square x is there 10x is differentiated second square x again so that will be second 4x into 10x <coughs> okay this is 2 into 4 8 10x differentiated 2 into 10x but 10x is again differentiated that means second square x second 4 as into 10x okay plus sign okay this is in two terms we have differentiated now this sec 4x that means 8 into second